Okay, so let's talk about how you can add volumes to your scene. So we've already looked at how you can um, create VDBs. So now let's look at how you can actually scatter rays in your scene or let's say how you can create volume scatter in your scene. So first things we're going to do is we'll go over to our edit panel, add geo and for this example we're going to go ahead and put up a cube okay so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to increase that cube and make it just a little bit bigger and i'm going to raise this cube all the way up so after taking it all the way up next thing i will scroll down and come to the scatter volume and add any kind of scatter i want so if i need a fog scatter i can just go ahead and add a fog scatter and if i go ahead and switch to my free camera I would be able to just simply have this and scatter it around the scene so let's go ahead and make this about let's say a 90 for example and then you can see that I have this scattering around my scene you see it as the light gets to hit this object you can notice that I'm scattering the fog around the scene so this is one of the fastest way of getting this thing done the next way of getting this uh, getting this done is by simply coming to the material uh, tab by simply coming to the material tab and by default your material should be diffused so next things I'm going to do is come down here and scatter medium okay so I would simply go ahead and increase this my transparency distance so because I have a big object I may have to go ahead and increase this to say um, 95 for example so it begins to pump a little bit more so maybe I can make it 110 and then you can see that we're having to uh, actually see through the object next things I will do is I can turn the density a bit lower one is fine but maybe if i make it uh, 0.8 could be better or maybe i can make it 0.3 and now you can see that we have a much more cleaner um fog happening here you can also choose to make a multi scattering which would be nice but might be a bit uh memory intensive other things we can do is we can also increase the sampling rate depending on what we want to achieve at the end of the day you can go ahead and turn the transmission a little bit higher or lower it just a tiny bit say something like that actually i think i should go ahead and make this about 125 i can make it 125 and drop this down to 0.3 so that we can just have a fair amount of uh, details happening in our scene okay so I can just drop that real low and one more thing I can do is I can come over to this albedo and I can just simply try and play with it now this is how you can uh, go ahead and play and create volumetrics in your scene now why this is working perfectly fine for us is because we already have lights that we've set up in previous videos in our scene and with these lights you can get all of the nice uh, features that comes with the scattering of course you can still come over to the texture and choose a certain kind of texture that you want to have with your volumetrics so for this one i might go ahead and choose the noise texture which would give me uh, which can control the density. I can also do the same thing for the transmission as well. You can also go ahead and play and add labels to these stuff. So if you have questions about this, please don't hesitate to put them down in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you get updates the next time we upload a new video. And so far so good guys. Peace.